Hello everyone, my name's Lee Dixon, uh, most famous for being Mr. Clapton's guitar tech for 30 years of my life. And uh, today I'm in the uh, beautiful town of Raleigh, North Carolina, at the Sega's Guitar Show, second year, great event, uh, put on by my buddies at Mojo. Um, I did this last year, doing a clinic discussing my life and, uh, and answering as many uh, questions that I as possible about my old employer, you know, the fans are still interested in guitar questions and amp questions, what kind of guy was he, what kind of cars does he like, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I've just finished having another blast, it's a Sunday afternoon, and here we are. Sitting here with a rather beautiful guitar in my hands, unfortunately not mine. Um, just probably want to say a few words about this. When I came here with uh, Michael McWhorter and his Mojo team, Andy Turner and the guys last year, uh, I really, really liked the integrity of the company. I liked the, the, all the people that I met with them. And, you know, when we were out at dinner one night, we were discussing maybe that I should, uh, possibility of coming on board and joining the Mojo family with maybe a, a product or two of my own, um, which we, we, we is ongoing and which we hope to develop. But um, the first thing I, uh, that we've actually come up with is two sets of pickups. And essentially, they're not called vintage 58s or super 59s or PAS. They're called a black set and a brown set. It's three strap pickups in each uh, each set. The black set is done, uh, you know, more of a more of a sort of a, as it says on the ticket here. Let me just read from the ticket. More of a, a classic high end with a snappy bass, and I think that's a good way to describe it. I've had the the pleasure and the honor of, of holding and playing some of the world's most iconic guitars over my. 30 odd years as a guitar tech. Most of them, I must say, be belonging to Eric, and as we all know, he's had some pretty famous strats. So I, I would hear, you know, I'd like certain sounds, pick up sounds from a 60s strat and a 50s strat and some of the more modern stuff. And I got together with a wonderful guy called Tom Brantley, who's the, the pickup guru at Mojo. And uh, over the past few months, we've, you know, kind of been developing this. He, he can uh, take my. Uh, my ideas and, and, and make them make them happen. All these these are assembled in uh, North Carolina. They're all hand wound. And as I say, the the black set snappier, maybe for rhythm players. The brown set were kind of slightly different sound, maybe a little more middley and better for single note players or, or nice uh, nice lead lines. And um, I know that there's many many great pickups, many great pickup manufacturers out there. Indeed, Mojo carry most of them, but. I thought maybe we could bring some some slight, subtle, different flavour to the table, and with Tom Brantley's help and uh, Mojo's input and my ideas, this is uh, this is where we're at with it. Um, I think you can only buy them online. No, you can't buy them online yet. You can only buy them direct from the factory. This so I'm told because it's this is really just the first few sets that we're showing at this uh, this particular Sega's guitar show. Um, so I'm very, very excited because uh, I love the company, I love the guys, as I said, it's, uh, it's very rare that you meet, uh, uh, you know, just happen to bump into a company where you know, they're all on the same plane, they're all on the same page, you know, there's a lot of integrity, there, there's a lot of dedication, there's a lot of crap, and uh, I'm very, very proud and privileged to be associated with them. And just hoping that these bad boys will find favour with you, the general public out there, and that you'll love them. Please buy. Ha <laughs> ha.